Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, I've been playing around with this Everlast Power Plasma 62i, and one of the functions it has is a gouge function. And I thought, well, I finally got some consumables for it. <laughs> Let's give it a try. So the first thing we got to do is just let's get the old, you know, the regular plasma cutting consumables off of there. So we'll get the cap off of there, get that out of the way. Here's the nozzle, looking pretty used. And the electrode, see the big crater in the end of this? That's what the new one looks like. And that's just from use. So we'll get the new electrode in there, put a new nozzle on there. And this is actually kind of interesting. I never actually stopped to look at one of these and try to see, well, what's the difference? This is a regular plasma cutting cap, and this is a shielded cap for gouging. You can see the difference here. You know, this has got this extra little brass piece on the top of it, but what makes it shielded? So if you screw that off, you see this is metal, but all down inside here, from about this point forward, this is all this uh, Bakelite or plastic, whatever kind of, non-conductive material it is. So when you've got it on the gun and you've got your nozzle sticking up in there, it's actually in this non-conductive part of the cap. Kind of interesting. And it has these little cuts in the end of the nozzle on the, on the cap to help, uh, help the sparks go out. You know, when you're cutting, when you're actually, when you're actually gouging something, rather than all the sparks, you know, trying to go down, it, it helps, helps disperse it some. And just to get the machine set up and ready for gouging, you've got a selector right here for auto restart, for tip saver, and for gouging. So just make sure that's you know, make sure the gouging light is lit. This is your amp knob, and I've just got it set at 20 amps. That easy. And now we're ready to gouge. So what I've got here is just a piece of stainless steel. Uh, I think it's like 308 and I've been practicing on it and doing little welds on it and other people have practiced on it. So let's just take the gouging function on this Everlast Power Plasma 62i. Let's just go here on the back side and we'll just gouge this whole weld out. And just remember, the idea behind gouging is you want to remove the weld. You don't necessarily want to blow all the way through the metal. You're not cutting, you're just removing a little bit off the top of it. So let me put the rest of my gear on. We'll fire the machine up and see how I do. and started here, worked my way down, and you can see I just just about blew right through the, the, uh, the whole bead, got down to the base metal. I don't think I quite penetrated the base metal itself, but I got the bead off the top of it. So let's jump over here, I'll turn it up to 30 amps, and let's run this side at 30 amps and we can see the difference. Twenty amps on that side, thirty amps on that side, and I can definitely see it's a little bit deeper right in here, where I would I angled in just a little bit more rather than across the top. I was digging in a little bit that way as I moved. So a great big thank you to George over at George's Plasma Cutter Shop over on the East Coast. He sent me the consumables for this IPT60 torch. Uh, thank you, George. I do appreciate it. So if you've got a plasma cutter that you can do gouging with, but you've never tried. I hope this gives you a little, little kick, you know. Go out there and try it. Make sure you have the right consumables, get your machine set up correctly, put all your safety gear on. What the heck, better than a grinder. So I do appreciate you all watching. You get the chance, why don't you pop out to my website, see what's going on out there, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Kevin. Why are you staring at me? Because <laughs> it's impolite to stare at anything else when you're talking to somebody. <laughs>